I am here to help formulate things with these gifts that I was given from my dad, my family, and then my ability to tune in to my connection with our creator. They call this the most advanced era in human history. Apparently there are medical breakthroughs everywhere. So why are millions of Americans more unhealthy and overweight than they've ever been? According to US board certified physician and expert nutritionist, Dr. Amy Lee, one of the main reasons is three harmful foods that are being passed off as health foods all over the country. And wait till you hear this, because these foods can cause weight gain, clog your digestive tract, deplete your energy, and wreck your skin. They're banned in other countries. Yet shockingly, they're still legal in the US. The great news is Dr. Lee will explain how to stop and reverse this damage by simply learning which foods to avoid and how to spot them. And by doing so, you can experience easier weight loss, smooth digestion, and vibrant energy. To find out these three fake health foods, Go to 3harmfulfoods.com forward slash inspired. That's the number 3, 3harmfulfoods.com forward slash inspired or click on a link in the description down below. Hey, hey, Inspired Tribe, my fellow freedom lovers, John Nolan here. Thank you so much for tuning in to another Inspired Conversation. And we're so excited to bring this guest back on today. It's, it's winter, it's getting colder. We just got a lot of snow. And I know health, staying healthy, staying vital, being in a great state all over physically, spiritually, mentally is on a lot of people's minds. And uh, this is what our guest does best. She is uh, one of the best ones out there. Absolutely amazing spirit, uh, beautiful, so much knowledge, so much wisdom. And she's sharing it with the world through her products. Now, welcome with me, please, Jane Barlow of BarlowHerbal.com. Hey, John, it's nice to see you again. Jane, it's so good to see you. Thank you for uh, coming on again. You know, we just chatted a little bit in the digital green room um, about what matters to you, why you do what you do. I know people are, uh, especially in the last few years, have paid much more attention to health and well-being. And a lot of people are turning away from the mainstream ads on TV from Big Pharma, and they're looking for the natural, for the historic solutions that have been around for such a long time. That's what your family does. That's what you do. That's what your dad did. Um, how important is health and well-being in your family, and and why are you on this path? Well, you know, um, to me, it's important because you without your health, you don't have anything. You know, you always hear that saying that. Um, People will spend their youth and their health accumulating wealth, and then they'll spend all their wealth trying to get their health back. <laughs> so, you know, it's just, it's, and it's so true. But then I think not only the way I was raised, but health has a compound effect. So every single thing that you do that, you know, every time you exercise or you hydrate properly and you don't drink alcohol and you don't eat sugar and you eat vegetables and smoothies and like, and these are daily things that just accumulate. You have this huge compound effect of good health. And, you know, as a person who's now, you know, in my, you know, I don't, I don't have any problem saying how old I am, but I'm 62. And to me, this is, this is now my compound effect of having healthy habits that were started by my parents when I was young. And then of course, in my twenties and half of my thirties, I totally fell off the wagon. I ate a ton of fast food and junk food and all of that. And I kind of lost my health along the way now, not in a dramatic way, but in a, you know, in, in issues that were just, I didn't feel good. So I jumped back on. And I think that if you have your health, you can weather anything that comes along with governments and, changes in medical systems or like to, to be out of the medical system is, is a real blessing to me because I, and the knowledge I have with the herbal wisdom, it's like, you should see my apothecary. It's, it's pretty cool. And it's pretty big. All the things I have curing, um, it's a lot, but if I need something or my family needs something, I will literally go down and, and mix them up a formula of a tincture that's specially just for what they're dealing with. And to me, that is so empowering. And like I said, if you don't have your help, um, you're you're forced to be in a system that doesn't that doesn't serve us. You know, Jane, you sent us you sent us a few surprise packages that were just <laughs> absolutely wonderful with your formulations. And how I when I describe when I eat something or drink something, the way I describe it is 
basically how it feels. I'm not going so much about the initial effect because that usually takes a little bit, but just how something feels. I just love the energy. There's something about holding those bottles. There's something about uh, putting it in my mouth. One of the fa- one of my favorite things is the throat spray. I told you because I talk a lot. I sing a lot. It's just wonderful. But everything else as well. There's there's a specific way that it feels that is unique that I've never felt before. How do you? And you told me you go. You have a very special way of going about formulating things that is so different from most anybody else. Can you share a little bit about your process? and how you come up with these formulations that you share with the world. The first 20 years of my working outside of the home was uh, was in fitness, the fitness industry. And I taught group exercise classes. I did personal training. It was something I was able to do when my kids were in school. So when my kids were, I think they were like 16 and 17, my dad passed away. He was the, he was the botanist who started this, all these, you know, now I've got actually more formulations than my dad formulated at this point because my dad passed away 26 years ago. But what happened is I never dreamed that I would be the one. I was the fitness girl. I used to own a gym. I did all the training and, you know, I still love exercise and being in the gym and all that. But there was this that, you know, when you have this really strong intuition that you need to do something, um, when you follow that, it, the path becomes so open and so clear. So the first few years I was really just using my dad's formulations. And then I, then I started realizing that I, that, and I actually just got shivers just thinking about this. I realized that I have been given a gift and this gift is the ability to not only research and understand what properties of plants, what, how they help humans, but it's almost like the plants talk to me. And when I'm for, like, I formulated a lung, a lung formula about probably 12 or 13 years ago. And I did the research on the plants that I wanted in this, this tincture. So tinctures are nice because they are liquid. They go right to the bloodstream and they absorb very quickly into the body. So tinctures are some of my favorite ways to use herbs. But what happens is after I research, I know the herbs, a group of herbs that I'm looking at, I will just go into a quiet place by myself. I have an open journal. I have my notes that I've taken. And literally, it's almost like I'm channeling this formula. Inspiration drops in. And it's a little bit interesting to describe if you can't, if you've never experienced anything like this. But it's, I believe that God, the creator, is literally talking through me. And I'm able to bring these things to people because in fact, now my scalp just, my scalp just got yours, but it's, this is what I'm on this planet to do. I am here to help formulate things with these gifts that I was given from my dad, my family, and then my ability to tune in to my connection with our creator. And, and, and then I just, I listen and I pay attention. And not only do they tell, it tells me what plants to use out of the ones that I've researched, it tells me the amounts. Like I literally can sit with a formula that I, okay, say I want to do this formula for the lungs. And I get like 20 herbs that can fit into the, the category that helps with different systems that help your lungs stay, stay healthy, get well, all of that. Then I'll end up with these 20 herbs. And I'll, when I'm in my inspiration moment, I can literally pick out, okay, seven herbs, these seven need to be in. And then within seconds, it'll say 15% of this and 30% of this and 5% of this. And, and I will have a formula and I don't second guess it. I bring it in and you would not believe the perfection of these formulas. So my process might be a little. I do. I actually but, do. <laughs> Yeah, so the process is kind of um, maybe not normal where someone who's maybe more scientific or more, more analytical. Um, it is very much intuitive, frequency, connection to a higher source, and uh, they, they do beautiful things for humans, and I'm just grateful that I get to be a vessel. That's how I feel. You know, I can, I can really relate. Um, in, in my creative work, when I write songs, I've been writing songs for decades, and um, you know, the best songs are the ones that are created from that space. There are other songs and, and, you know, they have a quality, but not like it's just different. Um, one of the things that one of the other things that I think you, you put a lot of love and creative energy into 
is this wonderful book here <laughs> that I actually think, uh, this is Be Your Own Shaman. This is actually the first surprise package that we received uh, by Jane Barlow earlier this year, or last year, actually, in spring of 23. And this is a book that you remember those books when you went to your grandma's house or when you went back to your parents' house. And there is a selection of books that seem to be in every good library and every good home library. This is one of those books, Inspire Tribe, that I think should be in every home. Uh, be your own shaman. A field guide to to utilize ninety four of the world's most healing plants. It's it's one of the, the most beautiful things I've ever seen, and I encourage everyone to just go to the website barlowherbal.com, check it out, and purchase your copy. This is a multi generational treasure uh, map, if you will, for your health. Just wonderful, Jane. What inspired you to write this beautiful book? Because this is a I know how much work this is. Um, what inspired you to do this? Well, the first inspiration was the fact that my dad wrote a book when I was in high school and we kind of chatted on this the last time, you know, the first time yeah. I was on, but, um, you know, I was in high school 45 years ago. So this was a, this is a book that was, um, it was needed to be updated and needed to be reformatted. There were 48 plants in my dad's original book. And I, the whole time that I have been carrying on my dad's legacy since he passed, which has now been a long time. I have been getting people reach out to me on a weekly basis. Someone will pop in and say, hey, I my mom used to own a copy of your dad's book, but my sister got it. I would love to have my own copy. Are you guys going to republish your dad's book? Now, there's 14 kids in my family. So when you can't really, I mean, everyone would have been okay republishing, but my dad's book needed to be updated. It needed to, it needed, um, it needed a little bit of a facelift. And I, I really felt pulled that there was a big group of plants that needed to be added. So I took the 48 original plants. I updated um, mostly the photographs, the illustrations. I added some extra tips on how you can use them in your daily life for healthy things with, you know, like you can add this to, um, you can make a tea out of this and, you know, drink this because it'll help with constipation or, you know, there's an extra tip that I added to my dad's work beside because the medicinal properties of plants don't change. They, this is a consistent thing. Like white willow bark is good. You know, this is where aspirin comes from. That doesn't ever change. You know, these things are really um, traditional, non-changing, forever beautiful things. But then what I did is I added 46 more plants to it. But the, the key to this was a big group of those are, are things that are like spices basil and um, oregano and thyme and rosemary and all these things that people are used to using, but they might not realize what are these actually doing for me? You know, if I just add a little bit of rosemary to a, a dish three or four times a week, look at all these amazing medicinal benefits that you're getting. So I, it, it just turned into this, um, it kind of just, when you're in creative mode, as you know, then things just really kind of mushroom out, especially if you're really, really proactive. It took me about four years to put it to put it together from when I first started. Uh, one of my sisters drew all the illustrations um, and it uh, it really turned out to be a beautiful thing. But the nice thing is, is the last chapter is is um, you learn more about plant morphology, plant taxonomy, but then you learn how to actually prepare them. How do you make a salve? How do you make a tincture? You know, because if if you if I'm going to actually really help people, then let's not just you know give a man a fish and let's teach him to fish. You know, so exactly. let me teach you how do you do these things, and it's really not that it's really not that hard. <laughs> you know, I think Jane, and this is my prediction here on camera. I think this book will turn out in the following weeks, months, and years. Uh, to be a, a million bestseller. I think it really will. I think it's going to make its way around the world and help and teach people and going to make a lot of happy families and and they're going to do these things together and collect these herbs together and then create these things together. So thank you for this wonderful gift to the world. Uh, again, barlowherbal.com. you got to get your copy, friends. Jane, your your profession and what you do is basically considered by um, a lot of the mainstream health authorities and whatnot 
the witchcraft of the 21st century. And, <laughs> and there is a persecution and that's not, um, that is not exaggerated. As a matter of fact, um, many, many people in the natural health field, I don't want to call it alternative because it's not alternative. That's a natural health field have faced, um, extreme pressures. Some have given their lives on this journey. Uh, the, the, it's, it's truly a persecution. And I know you are and have been feeling the pressures as well. So while you do have a business that people purchase products from, how important do you think it is to um, for, for the public to come together and for the people to come together to preserve and support natural knowledge and natural health? How's your journey with this and, and how do you feel about this? Well, that is definitely true. I, I do feel that the more the world is starting to change, as far as um, everybody, you know, I don't even need to say because I know your your tribe too is is really on the know and in the awareness of um, the medical system. And and here's the thing: I don't think you can throw out the baby with the bathwater. You know, about a year and a half ago, I had to have a knee surgery, I, and it did freak me out a little bit because I don't go to the doctor, I don't go to the hospital, I don't I don't do any of that stuff. But it was something that I needed, and. Um, Everything turned out beautifully. So I think we have to be really smart and educated. But then we also have to be aware that um, there are people out there, you know, who are doing things like my dad. My dad, my dad was very much persecuted. And I do believe that's maybe one of the reasons he passed away so young. You know, he was the age I am now. I am 62. My dad passed away at 62. And I believe his life was so full of stress from that. Um, the persecution on these natural things that, you know, because you're not worth anything if you never go to the doctor, you're not on any drugs, you're just not worth, you know, but, but they are going to do the system. No. So if you can opt out of the system and then support, I would say if there's a local place that does natural things, people can go support them. I think we need to, to be very, very, active and not just think other people are going to support. We need to support places and companies and businesses that provide these things because I'm telling you there, it is intense. And I've had my own intense moments. Um, and it's, 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 but here's the thing. I know for a fact, I was born for these times and I know that I was born to stand up for what is right for humanity. And I'm, I'm up for it. So I believe that people that have the ability to support people who are standing up and being brave, then that is, that is a big thing. You know, that is something that's like, you know, I go to companies that support my belief systems. That's, you know, I don't shop anywhere that won't take cash. If there's a place that says I, we only take credit cards, I don't shop there. I don't go there. There's, you know, there's restaurants where I live in Salt Lake who say they that I have to they have to scan my my driver's license to come in and have a, have lunch, <laughs> and I'm like I'm not eating here then because you're not going to track yeah. you're not going to track me because I want to go have a sandwich or whatever. Mm -hmm. So to me, we have to support the things and the businesses and the people that align with our values, and we can't just fall back and say this is, oh, this is easier and everyone else is doing it. And it's too much. It's too much because I'm only one person. And what difference does it make if, if I'm the only one who doesn't do it, I might as well just do it. No, every single person that steps into their power and supports the right things and the right people and the, with, with the things that align with their, with their values is important. Every single person. I think you put it so beautifully and also the principles. And I look at, you know, a lot of times people say you, you vote every day with your dollars. And that is one aspect of this. And it's really true. And, you know, um, our, our friend, our mutual friend, Clayton, uh, one of the founders of FLFE, uh, he calls it business as a spiritual practice in an economized society. And I think that all really puts it in a proper perspective. It's, what we purchase, who we purchase from, who we support, but also what knowledge do we share and how do we make sure that that knowledge and wisdom expands and is being transported to the next generation. That's why I appreciate these books so much because here's the thing, no matter what website will go down or what happens to the internet, 
you'll have this copy on your shelf and your family uh, can benefit from it for generations to come. So I, I think that is so important that people understand that people like Jane Barlow are under pressure. Her business is under pressure and scrutiny that other businesses don't have to endure because what she offers is helping people become freer in their health choices and, and frankly, with their whole well-being. And that's not something that's supported by a system that needs um, the subscription model where people need to go and purchase the same pills month after month after month. Um, I'll never forget. I want to share the story with you. And I, maybe I have on camera where my first producer, music producer, maybe I shared this with you. He came to a meeting and uh, he was a little late and he walked in with a bag from Walgreens or whatever, uh, a bag. And he said, and I said, what do you got there? And he opened the bag and there's like 15 uh bottles of pills in there, prescription bottles. And he said, that's your future. And, and I, I just thought, Oh my God, that's not my future. That, that will never be my future. And I don't subscribe to this vision of the future. Um, <laughs> Jane, thank you so much for what you do. I know you wanted to share something, as I mentioned, FLFE. Yeah. Um, that's a service focused life force energy Yeah. that we have been talking about on this channel. We, we shared this with you right at the beginning uh, last fall, you have a story to share and I'm excited to hear it because I know <laughs> our viewers love hearing about what's going on with FLFE and what kind of experiences people are having. Yeah. And, and when, um, we were connecting about, uh, coming on again, uh, I said, I have an amazing FLFE story and I want to share it with you at the same time I'm sharing it with everyone because, um, it was really, really empowering. Now, so I signed up, uh, probably, three, three months ago. So not a long time ago. And, um, it immediately resonated with me. I did the 15 day free trial. My husband started sleeping really, really well. He kind of sometimes has issues sleeping and I didn't tell him that I put it, that I put it on the free trial. I actually told him after I signed up for it, but I, but he, I was like, okay, well, I can feel it because I'm so in tune with frequencies and energies. But my husband was like, you know, he didn't really realize. He just was like, well, yeah, I slept great again last night. I, oh, yeah, I slept great again last night, too. So <laughs> after I signed up for it, I, I said, OK, here's what's happening. Um, and he's about 50 percent on board with me on that. And he's like kind of like, oh, that's nice, Jane, whatever you need to do. <laughs> and um, so then what happened is I not only put it on my home, but I put it on my business. So I have a different uh, building that's a commercial building. That's our warehouse. And this is where. Um, we get all of our product that's manufactured for us. It gets sent to this to our, our fulfillment center. And we literally um, touch everything. We like when we talk to someone on the phone, um, it's not just a person in a fulfillment center. It is us. If you talk to my son, Scott, on the phone, he's going to be the one who processes your order, gets the products that you um, ordered. And then he we literally do have the intention of love when we put these together. So the reason I'm telling you this is because FLFE is on my building, my warehouse, as well as my home. So I, I, I've been having a little bit of a situation the last month that's been very, very intense. And um, it's one of the hardest things I've ever, ever had to deal with. So talking about the pressures of your profession. <laughs> huh? Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. And I never dreamed I would experience it. Um, anyway, so um, my sister who lives in one of my sisters who lives in California, she flew up to kind of spend some time with me uh, for a week and she to give me emotional support and just to, you know, give so that I could really um, just have her presence and have her with me. And we went out to my warehouse where I have a gym set up and we went. So we went on Saturday. So right now the day we're recording is on a Tuesday. So this was just a, just like three days ago. We went to my warehouse to work out. And after we got done working out, um, I said, it looked like it needed to be cleaned. So we said, hey, well, let's just take, let's just take a half hour. So we, we worked out hard. We cleaned the whole gym, the gym area. And so we were dirty and sweaty and happy. We were so happy. So we went downstairs to my office. And when you have FLFE, you can put a boost on it. You can put two different boosts. You can put two minutes of an 850 level of consciousness on it, which is up there with enlightenment. 
So this is a very high level of consciousness that you get to pop onto your space. And, and I usually meditate during that two minutes. And then you can do another 30 minutes or so on a, on a high, a high level as well. So we came downstairs after a workout and a hard cleaning session. And I, and my, we sat in my office and we were both sitting in a chair and said, Hey, let's put the boost on, on the, you know, the 850 boost for two minutes and let's meditate together because this, we felt like this would be a really good time for this, us to focus on a really good outcome on this situation I'm dealing with. So we sat, we both sat there, we closed, I put the boost on, we closed our eyes and we sat in silence for a minute. And when I felt like it had been enough time, I kind of peeked my eye open and it, it does this thing where it re reboots and then the boost is over and you can see that it's over. But what happened is I opened my eyes and it booted up, but then it stayed on. The boost stayed on. And then, so I, I watched, oh, I said, oh, maybe I was just too quick. So I kind of just sat there and meditated, but I meditated and watched, was watching it. And it rebooted again and it stayed on. <laughs> and so then, and this was the 850. So then I said, I said to my sister, hey, Joni, hey, it's still, and so we sat there together and we watched it reboot and it stayed at 850 for 20 minutes. That's incredible. And we both just felt this intense, unconditional love. And, and we felt enlightenment and we watched this thing. It would, every two minutes it would reset, it would do the thing and then it would stay on. The boost was just bright orange and I was like, and we could feel it. And then, and we kind of started kind of talking through it and kind of looking at each other and laughing. Like if this is not a sign from the universe that everything's going to be okay, I don't know what is. And then as we were kind of just sitting there watching it do this every two minutes, it would just stay on. I said, you know what? The message I'm getting right now is that I need to trust the process and be patient because I'm not a patient person. The moment I said that it, it reset again. And then the boost was done. <laughs> Incredible. So you got the message. Yes. It was it was clear. Roger that. Okay, we can go. Oh, that's fantastic. It I was love the it. most amazing. In fact, my, my sister said to me, well, if that doesn't tell you that everything is going to be okay, I don't know what other sign you need, but that sign, that's the sign. So that's incredible. I love it. And I also love the part about your husband, because believe, believe me, <laughs> one of the most common messages that we get is so i signed up for the trial i didn't tell my husband he's sleeping like a baby he's feeling much better his back pain i mean there's just this is like it's such a common theme because frankly it's mostly uh it's mostly women that with their intuition say yes let's do this let's try this and we men like clockwork you know we we, we need more time for that it's always like that and it's no exception here uh, with Christine and I, absolutely no exception. She, she's always a trailblazer. Uh, she sees and feels something way before I catch up. So uh, <laughs> it's just a beautiful, beautiful story, Jane. Yeah. Well, I was um, like, okay, this is cool. Now, this is wonderful. And by the way, Inspired Tribe, uh, the circle of, you know, we have something called the circle of trust. And so when we when we invite you into a world where we introduce something to you or someone to you, this is also how we do it behind the scenes. As Jane said, we, you know, the, the connection that we make, it's like um, reconnecting with family all over the place. And so then we're introducing family to each other. It's just a wonderful thing. And, and, and we're creating this beautiful circle of trust. Jane, how can people get into your circle of trust? Where can they find you? Where can they keep up with you? Where can they find your beautiful products? So I'm, I'm pretty easy to find. My website is just barlowherbal.com. And uh, I have a little YouTube channel as well. It's, it's Bar also Barlow Herbal. And, you know, every Sunday I, I had a I had an intuition to, as I was going through the whole pandemic and stuff, to do a Sunday message of love, not just to help myself, but to help my, you know, if I can give a little nugget of wisdom to somebody to help them through a hard week or a hard day or whatever. So on, on YouTube, it's just Barlow Herbal. And I don't talk a lot about about herbs on that. Um, I do some, but, um, 
probably that's the YouTube. I also have a Rumble channel, which I post the same things on Rumble. Rumble, and that's under my name. But I give a link to that in my on my YouTube channel. But yeah, I'm easy to find. Mostly my website. And if you sign up for my newsletter, I keep in touch with you and let you know what's going on. And I actually have a brand new brand new antiviral formula that's on on its way next month. You know what? With uh, all this talk about disease X and whatnot, uh, go check it out, friends. I, I, I say this with some sarcasm. We laughed about this because it's <laughs> it's just unbelievable what what they're pushing on us. And so we're so thankful for um, honest, integrous, wonderful, beautiful people like Jane Barlow and her whole team that are um, they're one hundred percent in it and coming coming at it from the right place and from the heart. Jane, thank you so much for coming on today, uh, for your time, your wisdom. It's always an honor. Thank you, John. It's an honor, too. Uh, I feel like I found my tribe family with you and Christine, for sure. Oh, yeah. We, we feel the same way. And Inspire Tribe, thank you for tuning in. Please visit BarlowHerbal.com. Uh, get the book. Uh, do a test order. You, you won't regret it. Trust me on, on the things there. Yes, Jane. If you want me to sign it, just put a note in the comments. I'd be happy to give you a little bit of love in there. I know that. If you want your book to look like this <laughs> with a personal uh, signature and note, let Jane know. BarlowHerbal.com. Uh, Tribe, thank you for tuning in. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll be back with you again very, very soon. You deserve the truth, but Big Tech does not want you to hear it. So we built our own inspired platform on the inspiredchannel.com. Just click the link in the video description or the pinned comment.